morning, kids. It's still early, and since it's the weekend, everybody wakes up a bit later. I notice when people start to wake up because they start using water in their bathrooms, in their kitchen. Then they start using their washing machines. Shh, I just heard a flushing. Someone's woken up, probably dad. Yep, that's right. And mummy's in the kitchen, filling the kettle. Usually, George and Sophia take a while to wake up, but they got up early today. There they go, racing to the bathroom. A lot of water is used in the bathroom when you think about it. For showering, brushing our teeth, and every time we flush the toilet. Oh, come on. How much water could that possibly be? It can't be much. I don't always flush, for example. Yes, I know. I usually have to flush after you. Around one third of the water that we use every day goes to flushing toilets. A third of the water? Really? That's right. How much water do you think goes into every flush? About one liter. As if more. Two liters? Every time you flush, you use six liters of water. That's as much as three large water bottles. So think about it. How many times do you use the toilet and flush in one day? In the morning, after lunch, before I sleep, about five times. That's 30 liters each. How can we use less water when flushing? Just don't flush. Yuck, that's what you do. There are many things that we can do. First of all, make sure that you have a dual flush toilet with two buttons. When you don't need to use a lot of water, just press the button for less water. Sometimes we can even avoid flushing altogether. For example, there's no need to flush tissues after blowing your nose. These can go into the bin, the organic one. We should only flush when we really need to. We can also use recycled or collected water instead of the flushing. What's that? Recycled water is water that we've already used for something else. Like water used to wash the floors can then be used to flush the loo. We can even use rainwater that has been collected in our well or in a water tank in the garden or roof. This is the best water to flush with. That's a great idea. I'll tell my dad to start collecting the rainwater that lands on our roof. Now, how long do you guys take in the shower? Any idea how much water you use every time you have a shower? I don't take long at all, but Sophie takes ages. Only because I have to wash my hair. If you take a 15-minute shower, you'd be using about 120 litres of water. But we need to get washed. You could try and cut those 15 minutes under the water down to 5 minutes. For example, while you're washing your hair or scrubbing your knees, turn off the water. Only turn it on to rinse. Or, while you're waiting for the water to warm up, spray it into a bucket so that it doesn't go down the drain. After all, that's perfectly good water. And then we can use it to flush the loo. Any idea what an aerated shower head is? No, what's that? An aerated shower head uses air to reduce the amount of water used, but it still keeps the water pressure feeling the same. That's cool, I'll tell my parents. And always remember, shower is better than a bath because baths use much more water more than 260 liters of water every time no problem at all i can take five minute showers any day yeah you wouldn't shower at all any day on average we use around 80 liters a day when we shower wash our hands teeth hair and shave so tell me how do you wash your hands i turn off the water wet my hands, soap them and scrub them, then I rinse them, dry them, and turn off the water. And your teeth? The same. I turn on the water, put toothpaste on my toothbrush, I brush, rinse, dry up, and turn off the water before I leave the bathroom. I always turn off the water when I'm ready. Turning off the water when you're ready is a good thing. But think about it. Why not turn on the water only when you need to rinse? Isn't that better? There's no need for running water while scrubbing your hands or brushing your teeth, is there? When you brush your teeth, you could even use a glass to rinse. That way, you use less water. That makes a lot of sense. When you let the water run down the drain, you're wasting around 15 liters of water a minute. Any idea how much water a whole family wastes in one week when they let the water run while brushing teeth? No idea. A lot though, for sure. 
Yes, loads. More than 750 litres of water. Wow! Listen, your mother just switched on the washing machine. Yep, today is laundry day. When you wash clothes, always make sure that the machine is completely full up to the weight indicated on the manual. That's much more water efficient. Each machine has different laundry programs too. It's important to use the right program according to the amount of clothes and how dirty they are. If you use the right program, you'll save water and time. And if you use a tumble dryer, you can use that water for plants or to clean the floor. Or to flush the toilet. There's so much that we can do to reduce the amount of water that we use. You bet. A lot of small changes make a big difference. See ya, kids! This project is part financed by the European Union under the Cohesion Fund, European Structural and Investment Funds 2014-2020.